Okay, this is Germany turn six. This is a big turn. We have 72 IPCs to spend. They're going to buy 10 infantry, two artillery, uh, three tanks, and four mechanized infantry. In terms of attacks, there are several that are being made. Uh, they are going to try and kick the Americans out of Normandy by coming in with six infantry and one artillery from southern France and a fighter and a tactical bomber from western Germany. Uh, over here in the east, in Bessarabia, they will be coming in with one tank and two mechanized infantry. In Ukraine, they're going to be coming in with one infantry, a fighter and a tactical bomber from uh, uh, Romania. So the one infantry from western Ukraine. Uh, okay, up here, we're going to load one infantry onto a transport and offload into Finland. Um, actually, we're going to have to do, sorry, we're going to have to do two of these. Uh, we're going to have to, um, uh, load this guy up as well, because we want two offshore shots from the, um, from the, uh, battleship and the, uh, cruiser. Um, and that t attack will be supported by a tank and a mechanized infantry from, um, Novgorod as well. Uh, also, the mech in Belarus will be taking Archangel without any kind of um, fight because obviously this is this is an auto kill. Um, an infantry and a mech from Belarus are going to be trying to take Smolensk, and then finally the big battle. Oh, sorry, wait a minute. One more thing: the uh, tank in Caucasus, which was not killed by the guys in Volgograd will sneak in through northwest Persia and then to Iraq and take those two territories there. Um, what else? Actually, you know what? No, sorry. We're, we're not going to go to Iraq. We're going to go to Persia because um, it's a little bit further away from the Allies and it's uh, a little bit easier to defend, I think. And then finally, the big attack is going to occur in Russia. And what's coming in are... Uh, everything from Bryansk that can reach. So this huge stack of infantry, three artillery, two mechs, and I think it's five tanks, plus the fighter and tack bomber from the Graf Zeppelin um, carrier are going to come into Russia as well. So we have a lot of dice to roll. Let's see what happens. And this is going to be the turn that basically decides a big chunk of the game. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the attack on Normandy Bordeaux. We have five unsupported infantry, an infantry supported by an artillery, a fighter, and a tactical bomber that is not being paired, and then a tactical bomber that is being paired. So one tack at three and one tack at four. We have three hits. That is all that they needed. So the Americans defend with two artillery, and the French have a uh, fighter. No hits, so the uh, Germans take back the territory with no casualties whatsoever. Okay, for the amphibious assault on Finland, the German transport, the merchant vessel Wilhelm Gustloff, is dropping off an infantry and a mechanized artillery. Uh, the other naval help, the Deutschland cruiser, and the Bismarck battleship will do offshore shots, and there is ground support from another mechanized infantry and a tank, which are both coming from Novgorod. So three ones, two threes, and a four. Three hits, so that's the anti-aircraft and the two infantry. So a lot of these are not gonna get to shoot again, so we'll put these aside, and those are the dice, so. No hits. No hits. No hit. No hits. Hit. So the infantry is killed. Hit. So the territory will be taken with one German casualty. Okay, this is the attack on Archangel, a single um, um, 
mechanized infantry is coming in. We don't have to roll any dice here, but I just wanted to show it. It's uh, the uh, anti-aircraft artillery is being taken out with no defense. So uh, Germany claims the territory. Okay, this is the battle for Smolensk. Uh, mechanized infantry and artillery. One hit, does the job. Russian defense misses, so Germany takes the territory with no casualties. Okay, battle for Bessarabia. Two mechanized infantry and a tank. Hit, tank hits, territory is taken, and there are no casualties for the Germans. Okay, this is the attack on Ukraine. We have an infantry, uh, a fighter, and a attack bomb. One hit, fighter hits. And the tank misses, so I will not have to make a decision about whether or not to lose a plane. Germany takes the territory with no casualties. Okay, this is the attack on Moscow. Uh, the Russians do have um, an anti-aircraft gun. So they are going to get to shoot at the two planes. And they missed both of them. Good news for the Germans. Okay, so the Germans have 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 unsupported infantry, uh, one infantry and two mechanized infantry supported by three uh, artillery. We have a fighter, five tanks, and a tactical bomb. Two, three, four, five, six. That is not a good start. So we're going to go with five or five infantry and the artillery are going to be the first casualties of the uh, of the conflict. Okay. All right. Well, I don't have enough dice, so I've got to do this um, like this. So there's supposed to be six more of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of perfect. Okay. So I have enough dice there. So we have four, five, six. So we have four, eight, 12, 16, 22 infantry, two uh, artillery, uh, one tank and three fighters. So this is gonna get kind of ugly. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay. Six, nine, eleven. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's three, six, nine, eleven ones are going to be put back. Okay. So we'll see how many we have left here. We have two of these, and then we have three, six, nine, 12, 17. 17. Six, 10, 13, six, that's 17. There's three of these and one of these. Okay, on this side, we have three of these, one of these, three of these, two of these. Okay, so we have to have one of these. Uh, and then we have the rest of these should be the same. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do this. Two, four, five hits. It's not going hugely well for the Germans. Five hits. Okay, so we'll put that one back and do that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm thinking that we're going to have to retreat. Uh, the Germans simply do not have enough left uh, to continue going because I think they'd get wiped out. So this did not go well for the Germans, and Russia held uh, Moscow. All right, non-combat for Germany. The fighter and the attack bomber from Normandy, Bordeaux, will go back to Western Germany and land in the airbase there. Uh, six infantry from Western Germany will move south into Northern Italy. Uh, the two tanks and three mechs from Germany are going to uh, end up in Romania. Uh, the Eastern Poland infantry is going to end up in Romania. The two tanks in Romania are going to go to the Ukraine. Um, the two tanks in Belarus are going to go to Bryansk. The fighter and the attack bomber from Russia are going to land in Bryansk. And the fighter and the attack bomber from Ukraine are going to land in Bryansk. The uh, anti-aircraft artillery from Novgorod is going to move to Archangel. So that should be all of the non-combat moves. So once I tidy up the board, we'll come back in a sec. Okay, placement of new units. We're going to put three units in southern France. Three infantry. We're going to put seven infantry and two artillery in Western Germany. We're going to put three mechs and one tank in Germany. And over here, we're going to put two tanks and a mech in Novgorod. Okay, income changes. We're gonna get plus two for Normandy Bordeaux, minus two for the Americans. So we'll just make that adjustment really quick. So plus two Normandy Bordeaux, minus two for the Americans. I think the rest, uh, or almost most of the rest, is coming from the Russians. So we're gonna go one for Karelia, oops, one for Finland. or two for Finland, so that's three. Um, one for Archangel is four. One for Smolensk is five. Two for Ukraine is seven. And nothing for Bessarabia. So seven from Russia. Oops. So 58 to 65. And then Russia comes down from 26 to 19. And then we actually get some from UK Pacific as well. So we're gonna get this guy. And we're gonna get this guy, UK Pacific plus two or minus two and plus two for the Germans. So 67. And then UK Pacific goes to 27. So 67 IPC's income is the base income. And then we're going to get several bonuses. Uh, we get plus five for the Denmark, Norway, Sweden stuff. We get plus five for controlling Novgorod. We get plus two for Persia and plus two for Northwest Persia. So that's 67, 77, 79, 81 IPC's. Keep the one over here. 81 IPCs for Germany. Uh, 50, 70, 81 IPCs for Germany to start the next turn. Oh, however, uh, they are being convoyed over here. So we do need to roll the convoy die. Let's roll that right here. Five. So the convoy, nothing happens with the convoy. So they will collect uh, 81. A uh, little bit, really positive news on the uh, Europe side, but uh, really not strong news on the uh, Russian side. The Russians managed to hold Russia with some strong defense and also some really, really weak offense rolls from the uh, Germans. So that was uh, unfortunate. Uh, so we'll see what happens next. That was Germany, turn uh, six. Um, UK Pacific is going to be up next. Let's see what they're able to do against 
their various enemies.